Hey guys, I hope this isn't a weird angle here. It's probably very ghetto. But I am recording through a phone and doesn't have a tripod. But I quickly wanted to do a what's in my hospital bag. I did one last, I think two years ago, for when I was having my second baby. Now I am having a third baby and I know exactly what needs to be brought to the hospital. You know, there's certain things that are not even going to get used. So this is the bag I'm taking. It's like a smallish bubble bag. <clears throat> and there is nothing here for the hubby because he is not going to be in the delivery room, delivery room with me this time around because, yeah, our one and a half year old is a handful. Like, my mother-in-law can't even handle him. And, yeah. She can handle him for a little bit, but, like, me birthing, he, my husband will be worried. And let's just, I ain't gonna get into that right now. <clears throat> no particular order. And I am missing a few things, but I'll tell you what the few things. Let me tell you first what I don't have in here. That I need to finish, that I need to pack. So that way I don't forget. I am missing a shower cap. My makeup, because obviously I still use that. A uh, hairbrush. There's two hairbrushes I use. I use one that's for like my hairspray and another one to brush my hair in case. I don't know if I'm going to have my hair straightened or in a bun like this. Um, some chapstick. And my phone and charger. But other than that, everything else is pretty much in here. Um, I brought some slippers. And flip flops, and these are for the shower. I do not trust that it'll be nice and clean in those showers. I don't want to slip and fall because <laughs> that'll be awesome. It's a little weird there. Okay. So, this com there's a compartment here, a little zipper, and there I have. One nursing bra, like clips, it's like a sling I think, it just, it unswings the whole entire thing if you could. I'm trying to do this quick because I'm not editing this at all. Underwear, fuzzy socks, and two regular socks. They provide you with some socks, but those are the ones that I use in delivery. And I don't want to be using the same ones. Why I only brought one pair of underwear is because they give you the mesh ones and they're checking you a lot. It's not that serious. You're going to be sitting down all the time. You, you know. In here, I'll save this for last. This is just a little bag I got from Babies R Us two years ago from a registry. And it has the baby's clothes in here, so I'll tell you that. I'll show you that afterwards. Of course, I already have my camera packed. This battery is charged. I have the charger in here. It's ready and ready to go. I got this. This is from my Target registry. And it's perfect to hold all your toiletries. Which is some hairspray. Face wash. Makeup remover wipes. Some Q-tips. And then we got the floss, toothpaste, and toothbrush. Oh, got a little bag here. And that has scrunchies and bobby pins. And then we have, you get, I, get a, I got a whole bunch of these from my last registry and two more from this registry. Uh, I have some face cream. Nasal spray. Eye drop deodorant and that is all I have in there I don't know how I had this in here before it does not want to close now and then lastly some soap and shaver um, they do provide washcloths. 
So unless you're not a washcloth person and you're a loofah person, then you can bring your own. But they do provide that at my hospital at least. You can always call and ask what they provide at yours. <clears throat> I brought my own towel. I don't need to show you that, but bring your own towel. I would, because they have like these weird ones. I got a cardigan. I have a little maxi dress that is, um, let's see how to show you. It's not maternity or nothing, but see how it's accessible to the breast, which I really like. I don't want to wear the gown the whole time, but it depends how I feel. I bought another dress too, just in case, but this is maternity, and I found them that they were kind of ugly, so um, I just use them as pajamas. But um, these are not really good access to your breasts, so I don't know if I'll be using that. And then this is my go-away outfit, going home outfit, which is just, you know, some sweatpants, thin sweatpants, and a... With a little tank top and it has, you know, it's good for nursing in case we don't go home right away for some crazy reason. And I recommend this. I'm a wimp when it comes to, okay, pain medication. Um, I don't like taking horse pills. And they're, they don't let you cut them in half. They don't let you smash them. They don't let you do anything with them. I just don't take them at all. And they swear apart. I think I'm a superwoman. So, um, I sneak these in. These are just regular Motrin's, and I'm fine with these. So, if you sneak them in, and they don't know you have them, they're, that's it. That's what I did last time. I did not get caught drinking them. They're not there with you 24-7 anyway, so that is what I did. And now let's move on. Baby girl stuff. I have my puppy. Um, I think I need to find the bag that came in this. I think I have it somewhere. Because I don't want to bring this up right away if I just leave it in the car. Sometime ready to nurse. So in here, the hospital does provide, and this is my hospital, like I said, not everyone's hospital. I'm here in Connecticut. Um, they provide everything for the baby. You really don't need anything for the baby. But, you know, sometimes, especially if you're having a girl, you want to beautify her. This is a little muslin blanket. Because this is going to go, like, she is going to get swaddled in this. So put this over her car seat when she leaves. So, that's why I brought it. Oh, so good. <clears throat> I want her first little You, I just want to put her in little outfits already. This is a newborn. I, she, she is going to be born in July, but it's going to be cold in the hospital, so this has some attachments. You don't need to have pants because they're going to be swaddled up. So that's one of the outfits. Um, I'm not sure if I'm bringing this or not. I mean, if she's going to wear it or not. But her little brother wore it. Her little, her little brother. Her older brother wore this, and it's turtles. I love turtles, and it says Grandma's favorite, and I just think it's the cutest thing in the world. And then, I have a couple outfits here. I thought this was so cute. Like, look at how cute that is. And it has a little matching hat. Like, can't go wrong not putting that on her. Someone gave us this. And I just thought it was a cute little thing, you know, like. And look at the little, like, Jack. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't know. But her going away outfit. Is right here. I'll show you that in a minute. And then I brought some. They're not gonna have these in the hospital. Little mittens. You can ask for the socks. Maybe they'll put those. So I got like two. Pre this kind of matches what she's gonna be going home in. And I bought a couple little bows. Um, this one's a more stretchier bow, in case she has a big head. And this is not as stretchy. Like these are the ones that I feel like they're just skin tight. It depends how big their head is. And then I have these bowls as well. These are zero to six months. And this is her little going away outfit. Going home outfit. Going away, going home. It's um it's short sleeve. It's like kinda of thick, like it's kinda of warm. But you know, babies are cold. And then you put this little sweater on them. 
I got some socks because she's gonna have to need gonna have to wear some socks, right? And I don't care if she's matching or not. But that I'm not sure what this is supposed to go with. Like I don't know if I stick her with the blue bow or the peach. I, don't, I just don't know what bow to use. So maybe the nurses will help me. Somebody will help me decide what we're gonna do. But that is all I have. I'm trying to dig in here and see if I I don't have anything else. It's very small hospital bag. Um. I already know what I need and stuff. They have provide pads. I'm fine with the pads they have. I'm fine with the netted panties they have. I don't wash my hair there. Why the heck would I do that? I'm only there for two days. So yeah, that's all I have um, in my hospital bag. If you think I'm missing anything, I already said in the beginning what stuff I didn't put in. But if you think I'm missing anything, let me know. I, I just always do everything head to toe. And that's that. <laughs> earrings. Hopefully I have some earrings on. If not... It's not a big deal. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you like my video. I hope it gives you guys some ideas of what to bring in the hospital bag after having three, you know, two other kids. And um, if you guys want to see what's in my newborn diaper bag, stay tuned for that. I will be doing one. I'm not sure if it's going to be before she's born or after she's born. But we will see. So thanks for watching. Bye.